right, what is up? So if you don't know, I've been working on a new project called Hatch. So my idea for this is to build a framework for Webflow, a framework slash UI kit for Webflow. And the goal with this is to help myself and you, if you want to use it, to get up and going on your Webflow projects really, really quickly. So I've been trying to think through like the global styles. That's what I've been working on the past few days. So if I'm starting a new project, how can I get up and going as quickly as possible? So I've been thinking about things like setting global swatches for like the background colors and the heading colors and stuff like that. And also I've been thinking about like font sizing and trying to figure out how to make it like usable right away with the flexibility to add classes to override font sizes if you decide that you need that for your design. So I don't really have much to show at this point um, and that's because the bulk of my work hasn't been in Webflow. Uh, I have started the Webflow project and I have started building this out, but most of my work has been inside Notion. I've been just trying to like think through everything, think through like the global styles, like what I need to do, the classes that I need to add to make this as like flexible as possible. Um, also a class naming system, which I haven't quite nailed down yet, but I've been doing a lot of research on different frameworks. I've been looking at Bootstrap and Tailwind and others. Um, I do really like the way Tailwind does things. Everything's very modular. So you can just like pick and choose what you want. So I'm leaning towards doing something somewhat similar. It won't be exact because I don't want you to have to define every single element. So my goal is for there to be a, a good base style for all the elements that you use. Uh, so you can just use that if you want, but you have the option to override it with different styling and different classes. And also the way Tailwind works is you add a class for basically every styling element that you need at every size. So you have unlimited flexibility with Tailwind, which is great, but I think it'd be a little bit too much if you were trying to do combo classes that were six plus classes long in the selector. So I've been trying to figure out like a good balance here. Something that I've been learning a lot more and I think I'm gonna implement in Hatch is type scales. Uh, there's a cool website called type-scale.com. So for example, if you use rems instead of pixels for your font sizes, you can set a base font at the root. The HTML element has a font size of 16 by default, and you could tweak that if you want. But there's things like a major third scale, which is 1.25. So how it works is you would have the base font of 16 pixels. And then if you use the major third scale, which is 1.25, you would basically multiply each level by 1.25. So 16 pixels at the base, multiply that by 1.25, you would get um, a 1.25 rem or uh, 20 pixels. Then you would take that one and multiply it by 1.25 and you would get 1.563 rem or 25 pixels. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be rounding these up or down to the nearest like uh, whole number. So like instead of 1.563 rem, I'm gonna do 1.5 rem. But the cool thing about this is there's different scale systems that you could use. So I'm thinking like on tablet, I would use minor third, which is 1.2. And then I could use a custom one on mobile, which would be like 1.15. So I like this idea because everything would be based on the root font size of 16 pixels. And then you could adjust the base font size up or down depending on if you want larger or smaller, depending on what your design calls for. Also from what I've been reading, using rems versus pixels is better for accessibility, which is interesting because a user can bump up their default font size. So everything would scale up automatically, but it wouldn't scale up if you were using a set pixel value. So I think this would be cool because it allows you to get up and going really quickly. And then if you combine that with the functionality, if you had like different classes for different font sizes, and I'm thinking like different classes for different font sizes at different breakpoints, so tablet, mobile, etc., cetera, uh, you would have pretty much unlimited freedom to do whatever you want, but this would still allow you to get up and going really, really quickly. So at this point in the project, I don't have much to show. Everything's mainly in Notion. I've just been like thinking through and researching and trying to figure out the best way to go about this. I am really excited for the potential for Hatch. 
because the patch can save you like a few hours on your build time. That'll just save you time and money and you can either take on more projects or you can live your life and do whatever you want. But yeah, that's all for this update. I think in the next one, I'll actually jump on the computer and show you like what I've been working on. Anyway, if you want to follow along, find me on Twitter at McKinsey Child or go to idea to launch and launches L-A-U-N dot C-H. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.